Good morning traders. So let's have a look at the Dow Jones. So you can see the I've got the two trend lines drawn in that we need to worry about this week and pretty much the bottom trend line, the one that I've been talking about for two weeks now. And then we've got this top trend line which is this high and the high of the week before last. Okay, so let's just get down to the daily. And I want us just to draw this trend line in here. Okay, so we've had one, two, three touches on that, on the daily. So the interesting thing here is, you know, there, there are two, how do I put it, there, there, you know, there are so many um, patterns at play here. And now the objective that we need to do look at is which one is the got the higher probability so that's our objective so if you look at it at first glance you can see we've been going sideways for two weeks okay so and that is pretty much your your range so we're ranging now from a price action perspective what happens when you rally like this quite hard okay and you then go sideways what normally happens Okay, so the higher probability trade out of this kind of pattern is a, a break to the upside. Okay, and if it does break the upside, then we pretty much travel the distance that we traveled here, we travel up. So that is the, the, the higher probability of this pattern. The only time that this starts um, to become wobbly or shaky is when we start heading to 20 candles or more, in this pattern okay we can actually say from 18 up so you can say that was the first candle because that was a, a reversal bar of this trend that's so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we're on our 11th candle right now so normally what happens is this is a consolidation phase before we move to the upside okay so looking at the daily this is still what I see so there's still buyers that are stepping in at the bottom. You can see these tails. Just zoom this in. You can see all these tails at the bottom. So I can still see buyers stepping in. So it, the the higher probability right now is to take the the longs off here and wait for the break here. Okay, so you long and and scalp. However, there are some things that are happening on the lower time frames which are providing a lot of uncertainty. Okay, and um, the other thing that you can see is we're above the alligator here as well. Okay, we do have some daily diversions, which is uh, negative, but um, as I say, with diversions, they can continue forever. So, you need to look at them in conjunction with other things. So, this trend line, why I wanted it drawn in, you can start to see, and I think let's just tidy it up. So, we've got a Better line. We can do that and that. Okay, so we've pretty much had one, two, three touches. And uh, just look at the pattern of the three touches. So touch, immediately buy a step in, touch, buy a step in, touch, buy a step in. Okay, so we've got. Um, inside bar, inside bar, inside bar. So this is a pretty well-defined trend line for me. However, however, there is a pretty well-defined short-term downward trend line as well. And what this is doing is forming a triangle. So I want you to just have a look here. And you'll see this previous triangle that played out. Okay, now what, um, there's two things I want you to look at here. So the first one is the alligator. See how the alligator is flat, pretty much in the middle of the triangle. The Bollinger is the second thing I want you to look at, and you can see how price is pretty much in the middle of the Bollinger. Move over to the right. What's happening here? We are now heading into the center okay, of the Bollinger as well as the alligator. Okay, so there are a couple of scenarios on the short term that may play out so and 
this is kind of what I'm expecting. And um, one thing you do need to take cognizance of, and I think before we get into what my play is, is let's just, so this is the first touch of the triangle. So from here to there, okay? And that is your target. So that is the the um, the height of the triangle. So it's not from way back here. It's pretty much from as close as by as close as you can see the first touch of the bottom, first touch of the top, which is this leg here. Okay. So let's just move that. And now there are two ways of of doing this. You can obviously some people like to do it from the break there, and that's their target. I'm a little bit more conservative because it makes a little bit more sense more often than not. Is I look for so if we break to the upside, I measure the target from the down from the bottom trend line. Okay, can you see where that targets? It targets the top of the weekly trend, uh, the weekly range, and you've also got these inside bar pretty close here. So and this top. So that makes the most sense to me. Okay, now if you do break to the downside, you can see where that target ends up. Let's put a line in there, and you can see it's this previous swing low. <coughs> Excuse me. So the the reality the reality right here is that we have a that a triangle is a indecision pattern so it could break up it could break down okay so just bear that in mind okay so what am i looking for i'm looking for the following so i suspect that we're going to move the downside we're going to come and close this gap and test this trend line if this test of the trend line holds i will take a long okay and going to try and keep my my stop pretty much here. So it'll be a 60, 70 pip stop loss. And I'm going, it's really going to be a punt. It's going to be a gamble because we're in a triangle. So it's very hard to determine which way we're going to go up. But I'm going to show you why I'm going to look for the long. So I'm still looking for the long, apart from the fact that we are having some good bounces off this trend line. So I suspect more of the same. But there is another pattern at play here, and that's this W on the Bollinger. So you can see how we've closed below the Bollinger here, and then we closed inside the Bollinger. So move down, up, and then down. That is a Bollinger W reversal. Okay, so pretty much that. And if we move that rectangle to the top there, Okay, remember the triangle target was there. Look where the W target is, same area. Okay, so I've got um, two potential targets here. So that's why my bias is still to the upside. Okay, so really going to wait for a pullback into onto this trend line. And um, what you will see is on the 15 minutes, you will see a touch of the trend line and immediately you'll get a an inside bar. If you get this kind of pattern or this kind of pattern, then definitely in and trade it to the upside. But then you're gonna to need to watch this area here. You may just have to take profit at this area because it could come down, go up, down, up, down, up, down all day. Okay, so that's kind of my, my um, play on the on the Dow and I uh, hope it helps and I'll catch you later.